Yes, sir. We are back. You thought I wasn't going to post today, didn't you? Nah, that's not happening. Posting every single day, you know, providing value and content. <sighs> My skin is actually glowing, as you can see. You know why. On this act of semen retention. By the way, guys, I've just launched another page. Quick, quick plug. Um, if you go on my suggestions, Frank reacts. It's just like me reacting to some stuff. But anyway, let's get into this, okay? Lust. Let's talk about lust today, guys. Alright, so, the act of lusting versus loving, right? So, what is lust? Let's, let's talk about, let's get into its origins, right? Lust. So why do we lust? We often lust through it all starts through a feeling of anger because we can't get something that we want you know whether that's you can lust it's not just after women it's after materialism as well you can lust lust after materialism you can lust after females but most commonly is is females and this book that i read um it talks more about this it talks more about the acts of love versus sex okay so Let's jump straight into it. The clear comparison between the two is that love enhances and empowers the spirit between two. This is why love is so essential in relationships. We cannot go without love. It's simply, it's simply that love enhances our relationships. It empowers it. It gives us life. It gives us value. It gives us strength. Whereas... On the contrary, we have lust. It diminishes the spirit. You know, lust in the form of sex. It diminishes the spirit. It weakens the spirit. You know, it, it weakens our bone marrow as men. It, it works in the opposite for women. For women, it gives them life. You know, it's, we're talking about energy transfer here. You're transferring your energy to another person. Oh, sorry. But yeah, you're transferring your energy to another person. That's why she can get up and do things afterwards while, while you're stuck in bed trying to fall asleep. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's, that's what it does. It destroys your bone marrow. It weakens your bone marrow. It weakens your willpower and ambition. You realize that when you get to like 90 plus days on, your ambition is high. And it weakens that, it dulls it. I'd say it subdues it. That's what Napoleon Hill talks about in Outwit and the Devil. It subdues your ambition, right? So let's get back on the topic between the two. So, how can we control lust? Because it is a, it's, it's, it's a, um, it's a potent feeling that's, that's always there. It's never going to go. But how can we control it? We can control it by being aware of it. You know, God gave us feelings. He gave us feelings. He gave us anger, which is, is the root of lust. And, you know, he, he gave us feelings. But he gave us feelings to be aware of them. He gave us feelings for a purpose. Not to become misguided by them. Do you know what I'm saying? So how we can be aware of them by tapping into ourselves through meditation. Tapping into ourselves just... You know, bring being alone with your thoughts, being alone with yourself in nature, wherever wherever that may be. Um, just coming coming with yourself, coming to, like just meeting yourself. Do you know what I'm saying? And um, so that's what that's what it really is. It's it's giving it's giving awareness to these feelings. Is is what is what we should do to combat lust. Um, it's you know as we go on to lust we we see that it's it's a it's a killer of, of a lot of men today you know there's a lot of relationships and a lot of families put at, put, put at the stake at the uh, at the result of lust you know um, it's a damaging it's a damaging force you know it's it's an it's I don't know to, to to bring this into my channel, but it's an evil force. You know, it's a it's a malit. You know, it's it's not it's not a great force. So um, 
And we see that time and time again. We see time and time again families breaking up due to lust, due to due to their uncontrolled, you know, sex appetites. And um, that's why semen retention keeps that in track, keeps that in check. Semen retention, because you're more self, you got more self control. So you're not even after a certain period of time, you're not even tempted by lust. You're not even tempted by these external feelings. You know what I'm trying to say. So that's all I've got for today, though. Love versus sex. Sex and lust diminish. Love enforces. It raises. You know, love in abundance gives. It gives us. You know, it gives us the all the power in the world that we need. Um, but but sex in abundance causes us depletion, mental depletion and physical depletion. Whether that be you know with your your lower um, chakras, uh, your sacral chakras, and your whole chakras become chakras become unbalanced. Whereas when you're on semen retention, you're more grounded. You, you know. But anyway, that's all I've really got for today. This is one of been my long, one of my longest videos. I've loved this subject today. Hope you guys have enjoyed it too. If you really did, then a like will, will be much appreciated. And I hope everyone's staying healthy. And we're on this road to get wealthy. Let's get it, man. I'm out.